To avoid attack from precision-guided bombs, many nations around the world have put important military facilities into tunnels dug deep into the sides of mountains. The U.S. administration wants to develop specialized nuclear weapons called earth penetrators to destroy the tunnels. The name suggests that the bombs will burrow deep into the earth, reaching the buried tunnels before exploding. This is not what will happen. If the bomb penetrates the earth just several feet, then most of the energy of the shock wave goes into the ground, not into the air. It is these powerful shock waves, not the bomb itself, that go into the earth to crush tunnels. If the tunnels are more than a thousand meters deep, even the most powerful nuclear earth penetrators will not destroy them. The short distance the bomb penetrates into the ground does nothing to contain the radiation produced by the nuclear explosion. A nuclear earth penetrator will blow out a crater nearly a thousand feet across and send a cloud of radioactive fallout tens of thousands of feet into the air. The winds will carry this radiation far from the point of explosion. Dozens of miles away, the radiation will kill everyone in its path. At greater distances, those exposed will become sick. Radiation levels that are not especially dangerous but politically damaging will reach hundreds of miles across international borders. This is from a single nuclear bomb. The effects of many bombs will add up. Whether we like it or not, it is easy to dig tunnels deep into mountains, deep enough to escape even nuclear attack. If we want to attack the tunnels, then we are going to have to seal off the entrances, and this can be done with current and planned conventional weapons.